Welcome back to Starfield. It is episode question mark. I think it's day eight, day nine. It might be day nine. I don't remember. But we left off at a critical point in the UC Vanguard quests. We were about to go beyond the wall. So let's see what lies beyond, I guess. I'm excited. Days pass differently depending on what planet you're on in game. It's fine. It's totally fine. So let's go. Guess what? I still haven't done much of the story. <laughs> so let's go. We're about to find out what is beyond the wall. What is happening? What we can expect? What is this Game of Thrones? I mean, this does kind of resemble Game of Thrones wall. A little bit, do you think? <laughs> By subscribing at higher tiers, you open special perks like the ability to get accidentally banned. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stole smuggler ship yesterday and it had 1100 storage. Crime pays. Amazing. 1100? I think my highest I stole was 750. <laughs> I thought it was just run around, steal ships, and blast rounders. Welcome to Vault 111. We should fix him a bit, make him worse a bit, rinse and repeat to keep it fresh. You're right. You're absolutely right. All right, friends. So here's the deal. We are doing five seconds till the ad is off. No way. The drum beat here is pretty great. We are doing the first contact mission. No, we're not. That's not true. We're doing the hostile intelligence mission. All gear collected. Time to check in with Hadrian. Also, this is my armor. Can we appreciate how freaking badass I look right now? I have tiger stripes. Amazing. So let's go. Hello. All set on your gear? You, are you ready to do this? No. Are you nervous? <laughs> Why are you nervous? Pre-mission jitters. You hear about a place for so long, it maybe gets bigger in your head than it should be. But you don't need to worry about me. I I'll be all right. Now, are we doing this or not? The stripes make me take less damage from aliens. Still no neon. Maybe next after this quest line. I'm ready. Then let's get this show on the road. Let's go. Go faster, stripes. First of all, everything green on your end? I don't think I'm I green. Am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Let's do this. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. I don't know what you mean, Brady. Take it off. Unlock code transmitted. Okay. You may open the gate when ready. I'm not ready. Is the robot single? The robot's voice is sexy. Okay. Alright. On our way into the city. I'm excited. Where are we heading? <laughs> Running the first sweep. Locate the Asili's gene samples. Got one. Asili's. Not far. Ooh, what was Old that noise? Shipping yard just past the processing plant. Gene samples are probably in one of the containers. Okay. There's a map, but it's not a map. <sighs> okay. This is fine. I'm not scared. I ain't afraid of no aliens. A research lab? Now it seems like the wrong time. It's the lunch bell. <laughs> Let's go, it's sandwich time. Am I in the right category, by the way? Can someone confirm? That creature. It's dominated. Must be a morph nearby. Oh, hello. Let's put it down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shot it in the butt! Crash, this was a bad time! What are you? I should probably, oops, wrong button. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It's like, I hope that whatever, wherever you store that, the smell isn't an issue. Okay, we're fine. This is fine. Booty shot. You can't romance them? Worst ever. You think? Oh. 
I really wish I had a scope on this. All right, you take care of that one. Ah! <laughs> Where did that come from? Corpse spice, delicious. Okay, what's the situation in here? Nothing. Anything lootable? Nope, nothing good. I'm gonna check these. The money? No, I didn't want the. F <laughs> I just picked up the folder. Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just digi picking. <laughs> Imagine Fazbo but in space. You gotta find out what type of aliens were inhabiting a space station or settlement. Oh, stop it. That'd be so much fun. Um, all right. What can. Well, this can only be used in the outside. So let's do that. And that would be probably this, I think. And then the inside feels like that and two really close together. So yeah. Noise. Uh oh, whoops. Oh no, I oopsied. No, I didn't. I, I'm just silly. It's fine. Hi Todd, good morning! How are you? Battle stem. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Did you pick it at the Digi Bond? Oh no. Everything is lootable. I love how the loot everything completionists can't handle the amount of purely useless effing loot. I've picked up so many plants and coffee cups. Smurf, it's getting, it's a problem. It is actually a problem. Why would Bethesda do this to me? Okay. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Amazing. Stunning. I need to go down, but I, I also need to make sure that I don't miss any good loot, you know? You know? You know? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. You think? I need to reload. It's kind of nice having such a big group with me. It's pretty neat. I actually kind of like that. Why is a filing cabinet and connect all the folders? <laughs> okay, explore the base cache. Alright. Double doubles. I respect it. But we will. Okay. Neat. Okay. Optional. Explore the base. Collect the Asili samples. Okay. So wait. Hang on a sec. Apparently that is... I I did it. <laughs> Woo! Look at all this ammo! Hell yes! I love it. An Orion. An empty weapon rack. Why do they do that to me? Oh no, not an expert! An expert to ruin my life. That looks about right. And then do we have two next to each other? Yeah, that looks like it could be a potential. So the outside, those two, and then we have two and two. Do we have two and two on opposite sides? Wait, where does those, where do those two? Those two, it's these two and these two. Maybe if we rotate them that way. Yes, nice. Okay, perfect. That gets rid of the outside. Um. So this is gonna have to be that and a one. Do we have a one? We do! Excellent, right, so these two are that one. But I need to just double check. I've got this, oh yeah, perfect. Look at me, go! Are you proud of me? You proud of me? Look at me, freaking go. I can space scoundrel with my sneaky, sneaky, steely things. Pro looter. Look at all these digi picks. Oh, yes. I hit the jackpot. Heck yeah. They are giving me a lot of ammo and a lot of meds. I should be concerned. <laughs> Unsolicited digi picks. That is going to be a title of one of the episodes. It has to be. One of the episodes on YouTube has to be called Unsolicited Digi Picks. Do you think I'll get demonetized? <laughs> oh my god, I picked up a double double by mistake. Am I going that way? What if I don't want to go that way? Oh 
shoot. I think I might be. This is where I came from. <laughs> Boss fight incoming, right? I need to make sure. <laughs> I wonder what this is for. Remar. Let me make sure I'm reloaded all the way. Got my grenade freaking launcher. This is fine. I'm sure it's fine. Quick save. I'm sure it's fine. That's not a nice sound. What's this? Is this another? Oh, this one's not interactive. That's some nonsense. Let me out. Let me out. <sighs> Are we playing the thing? Basically, yeah. I think so. Never a good sign. Deathclaw colony, pretty much. Did I just see something move down there? Or did I imagine it? I might have imagined it. This is fine. This is definitely not like a massive boss fight arena. Mm -mm. Excuse me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Right, I need to get up. I need. Oh! What? What was that? Who did that? A cloaked Terramorphy was stealthy this whole time? What? Right. Do you know what? Eat my minigun! Oh shit. It really said, actually, I could eat your minigun. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't like it! Oh my god, that's so creepy. Oh my god, no! I'm in a corner! No! <laughs> Please stop making me. No! T can hear me, I can't spoil. No! <laughs> No, you don't! What if I actually did? What if I actually did? Hey, look, I did. I did. Nope, it, <laughs> it lied to me. Yeah, you are right behind me. Oh no, they got sexy. <laughs> Stop it. I've lost which weapon I was using. What the fuck? What the fuck? Did you hear that? Run, run now. Go! Andresia, that's not your voice! This is fine. This is fine. It's so trippy. It's so trippy. I don't, I don't, I like it, but I don't like it. You know, you know? So they are a very dangerous alien species. There's a lot of like in-game lore about them that we've been discovering. They tried to use them as a Xeno weapon, but they could not be controlled. And they appear to have like the ability to cause you to hear things and see things. Can I get in there? Yes, I can. Ooh! This is fine. <laughs> it's so creepy. It actually genuinely makes me like feel freaked out, you know? Another thing. I'm picking everything up. I don't really need it, to be fair. Ooh, what's this? Shotgun of some sort. Oh, no, wait. I think that actually might be a grenade launcher. Because it says heavy. All right, let's do a quick save. What was that must come down? Can I go in here and have a look? Nope, that's not the door. It's giving Pikachu saying I love you in English to Ash. No, don't! makes me sad but i put my weapon away because i was like you know i remember oblivion logic like you could you could like surrender oh do you think he's okay oh he has a mochi multi-pack i hope it helped <laughs> oh hello i like how my npc friends are like yep yeah, this is fine this is normal 
in fact. This is totally normal. Something bad's gonna happen as soon as I do this. <laughs> is there emotional support mochi multi-pack? That's true, you could only surrender to humans, but they're smart! They're so smart, Izzy! Okay, give All Kaiser. Right. Over to Kaiser. Let's get out of here. Hey Kaiser. I have frostbite! Kaiser, come back! Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid terramorph sample. But, well, it's in the spaceport. <laughs> and the quick route there looks it got like blasted. It when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you Not the tunnels? Kaiser, how did you know that? Not the tunnels. I'm not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. You've got our I swear if we have a they're coming out of the walls, they're coming out of the goddamn walls moment. <laughs> proceed. Feral ghoul tunnel <laughs> flashbacks incoming. Have you seen the new ghost type and clues in Phasma? The clues are old, bald, and wear sunglasses, and they call it the solely unreal. Terrible. All right, let's go. Suspiciously spacious sewers trope. <laughs> I don't remember closing this. So did I ever go in here? Oh, would you look at that? Some Xeno warfare attack. Ugh. Can I? Ugh. Here we go. You got any other contraband in here? Free med pack. I'll take it. They're coming out of the wall, sphincters. This is fine. Terror Morph, what an apt name. I know, right? Can I? Ugh. Let's go. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've looted most of what we can here. Time to go into the scary place. Did someone say contraband? Where are the organs at? So they've been collecting every... Oh, I haven't even seen organs. I haven't seen any organs and Solu somehow has multiple cases of organs. Oh, this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. At least I won't have frostbite Kaiser, anymore, maybe. This flora. This is Lazarus plant. <laughs> you should it? really be wearing your <laughs> space suit. No one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Also, Can't be cultivated anywhere but London. They are not Furby shaped. <gasps> Real marvel. Thank you, Bero. Happy 50 months. Welcome back. <laughs> Maybe Solu's an organist. Solu playing the game like we're 40k nuns. <laughs> Did someone say organs? Hi, Zabes. Right, okay. So this is weird. Do we just... I guess we just keep going. I, I'm i sorry. I'm taking out my OP little gun. <laughs> I'm going for it. Because I don't trust these tunnels. I don't trust these weird things on the floor. I don't trust anything. This is creepy. The tiny blaster, this gun. Hi! Oh, I love the heat leeches. Someone's gonna shoot them. Heat leeches. What's keeping you things warm? Look at them go, puppies! Oh, you know, you should really follow the rats. Maybe you should follow the heat leeches. I love that we're like solving a kind of mystery and it's creepy. Space Rogue Muscle Gear. What does that mean? What do they look like? Oh, okay, cute. I kind of like it. New outfit. <laughs> How are you harvesting organs in Starfield? I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Brad knows all about lungs. Can I get out? Thank you. All right, well, that goes somewhere. No, we're all right. Okay. <laughs> the smile is so sinister. Why is it so sinister? Uh, what the fuck? Is that normal? Hey, friends. Is that normal? What? I don't know. You're supposed to know these things. Look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. 
You know, we might be some of the only. Let's see. What's happening? Oh, the music. Oh. What? No! What the fuck? <laughs> Was that a heat leech? The heat leech? What? Are <laughs> but heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems. That means that oh. every single one. Oh no. Oh, that is bad. That is so bad. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't see that coming at all. I, you just saw that, right? I saw that. You would tell me if I was losing my mind. I would tell you. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto no, every planet them. are baby terramorphs. <laughs> I'm ready for the heat, heat leeches. leeches. Hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We, we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. <laughs> People have been bringing them with them. Oh no. Oh no! I should have been killing them! <laughs> uh, that can't be how this happens. No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here. Let but alone it doesn't blossom. matter. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible. Yeah, but bad. <laughs> like, it's bad. Paul of the Heat Leeches needs to be an episode name, too. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe that the timing of that was so good, too. <laughs> You're glad you didn't buy this game? Why? <laughs> Psyche said I should follow the heat leeches. <laughs> there goes the brain salt. You both sharing it. What does this mean for the plans to clean up the terramorphs? That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Asilis <sighs> will have to look into. But yep. given what we know about Sad the creatures, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. This feels like a pretty major discovery. Pretty major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. That's bad. You could sneak a leech into a city or that's so even bad. multiple leeches into a place like New that's Atlantis. so bad. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis. Does this? Of course someone Did set someone it up. Set that up? Maybe. Well, so they maybe actually, Ezzy, that's a good point. Hi, my Tori. How are you? This seems fine. So. So but this is true, because like that means that some dumbass would like me <laughs> would see the heat leeches and go, oh look, they're cute. Look at the little puppy. <laughs> look at the puppy, it's so cute. And then boom. Biological <laughs> weapon. <laughs> some dumbass <laughs> pointing at myself. <laughs> literally walking around on mars going huh look at that <laughs> and ignoring it i'm a little dumbstruck myself yeah i'm sorry i'm talking to my chat right now i have a triple to sell you yay <laughs> um it's certainly plausible but first you'd have to know the truth about all this but we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing get after it <laughs> thank you Proceed. Go. Right, I need to pause for just a second. <laughs> what are you trying to suggest, Sully? Well, you get a terrifying but really loving dog. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> really screams that these are some ancient abandoned alien bioweapon from like millions of years ago. So the thing that's really like... 
I don't know. I literally walked past those and ignored them. <laughs> I was like, look how cute. What I think is really interesting about this as like a story development, because so gender, I saw that you said that it was a really well handled story beat. Those heat leeches, sorry, I'm speaking quietly so T doesn't overhear me. They are everywhere and they are introduced through various random statements by NPCs before you've even started this quest. They are mentioned. There are several references to them. People react to them. They were the first thing that jump scared me in the game. And I shot it and then I was like, oh, but they're cute. I feel bad. And they've been there the whole time. And then you do this quest and this quest is what teaches you about. And that's really cool to me. I really like that. They've done a lot of background, like establishing them as a non-threatening thing for people, not for like ships, but for people. And then very cool. I did level. That's very cool. Is there anything to loot in here? Prognosis improved. Hypothermia. Yay. And yes, McDuff, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> this is so cool. <sighs> that is some good story seeding. <laughs> Raisin bran cereal. Unfortunately, it's also very good terror morph seeding. Don't corner me. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Pickwick papers. History, history of xenobiology. Oh, I think I've already had that. They're literally everywhere. And then you're like, oh, actually, that's really bad. In fact, wait, are there any books here I haven't read? Oh, <laughs> not War of the Worlds. Not War of the Worlds. <laughs> You've been knifing the Xenogrubs. I don't think I've seen them. I've been okay, Matori. I had a bit of a stressful start to my day, but... Uh, no one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's and yet as mortal as his own, that as men busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. My of mice and Clyde, thank you for the raid. How are you? I already have it, McDuff. <laughs> I already have Pickwick Papers. I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure I do. I did, haven't found a War of the Worlds before. Um, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Um, with infinite complacency, men went to and fro over this globe about their little affairs, serene in their assurance of their empire over matter. It is possible that the infusoria under the microscope do the same. No one gave a thought to the older worlds of space as sources of human danger or thought of them only to dismiss the idea of that life upon them as impossible or improbable. It is curious to recall some of the mental habits of those departed days. At most, terrestrial men fancied there might be other men upon Mars, perhaps inferior to themselves and ready to welcome a missionary enterprise. Yet across the gulf of space, minds that are to our minds as ours are to those of the beasts that perish, Intellects vast and cool and unsympathetic regarded this earth with envious eyes and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. And early in the 20th century came the great disillusionment. Did you hear that um, James Webb Telescope saw potential evidence of life, potential evidence of life, um, on a planet 120 light years away? They find um, what they suspect is a uh, thing that is only generated at least here by phytoplankton, which is very exciting and interesting. Yeah, life indicating chemicals in the atmosphere. Chemicals that only exist on planet Earth due to life as a result of life, which is really interesting. And only 120 light years ago away? It might be phyto whales to eat the phytoplankton. It's just around the galactic corner. The planet Mars, I scarcely need remind the reader, revolves around about the sun at a mean distance of 140 million miles and the light and heat it receives from the sun is barely half of that received by this world. It must be, if the nebular hypothesis has any truth, older than our world and long before this earth ceased to be molten, life upon its surface must have begun its course. The fact that it's scarcely one seventh of the volume of the earth must have accelerated its cooling to the temperature at which life could begin. It has air and water and all that, that is necessary for the support of animated existence. This seems very pointed. I'll pop over, get some milk. I'm going to borrow some sugar. While the title may seem obvious, H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, first serialized in magazines in 1897, is actually believed to be a commentary on Victorian prejudices, insecurities, and values. It's just interesting that it's here. 
I think we've read that one too, right? Great Expectations, Tale of Two Cities, A Christmas Carol. Amazing. <clears throat> What's this? Something for me. Right, let's continue. Scary biscuits. I do have a Tale of Two Cities. It was one of the first books I read in this game. Come then, meet your death. Uh. Andresia, I don't really feel very good about this. The Terror Brew. Possible terror morphin area. It's right there. I should use the grenade launcher, shouldn't I? Which one is it? This one. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, pistol. This pistol is ridiculous, by the way. I just need you to know that it is a named pistol. I think it's like an iconic weapon. Oh, I'm in a corner. It does 750 DPS. 700 and this Terramorphin time. Another great title for an episode on YouTube. <laughs> 750 DPS. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. Now right, we got the tissue sample. First of all, Kaiser's got the cell data from the new Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploaded them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. All right, you got it. Beginning analysis. It is a match. He's having a problem. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Makes sense. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just no. It must have been intentional. Here, I like New Kaiser. Atlantis and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? War! I think it means the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attack on New Atlantis, that so someone thought they could get away with attacking the UC. I want to hear it from you. <laughs> exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea. Deploying alien life forms as mm, well. Andresha! The tea I is mighty strong to today. Our team in part inspired the approach, but our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And they failed. And the timing of that one. Yeah, that was very it specific. Have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do Say something. Say it with your chest, the Hadrian. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. You sound like a complete crackpot. <laughs> But didn't you say this plant can't grow anywhere but here? But... It can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. Or they... Well, yeah, I guess. But the timing... I mean, it was suspicious! They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? The United Colonies! Someone inside the UC must have plans for the Lazarus plant. Free Star Collective makes the most sense. They'd be happy to see the UC suffer. I've got some ideas, but it's far from responsible to just start hurling accusations. Commander Hatum or one of her soldiers, they're most likely to know about this. Maybe some independent group like Ecliptic? Your dad's still alive and has shown he doesn't care much about lives lost? I honestly have no idea. I would say, honestly, who's House Faroon? Trust me, those guys are the worst source. Trust me, bro. Um, I'm going to say I've got some ideas, but it's far from responsible to just start hurling accusations. Let's save the discussion for when you all are standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. Why are you if moving your head like you're talking? to prevent more terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Terramorphs, uh, find a way. Whoa. Kaiser? Hello? Get us into the spaceport. Am I okay? What the fuck? 
<laughs> what was that? Why was I inside this? <laughs> All right, we're going to the spaceport. That was very weird. Okie dokie. I'm gonna loot. Small bug. Tiny, tiny bug. Does not know anything. I'm also gonna make sure all my weapons are reloaded because, like, Jesus Christ. What's this? Omega, the last days. Didn't I read this? Yes. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. We have an ad break coming up, my friends. So if I will try my best not to do anything too exciting during the ad break. I don't think there's any point in snoozing it. So I will try to spend my time looting. In fact, yeah, I think we, we I want to have a look around here anyway. So you are not going to miss anything. I will run the ad early. If you are subscribed, you will not see any ads. That looting. <laughs> um, they're every 30 minutes. So in order to disable uh, pre-roll ads, you need to run three minutes of ads per hour. I am currently running 90... S Frostbite became worse. I am currently running 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes. I could do it every hour and just do all three minutes at once. But I'm not sure if that is worse, if that makes sense. Where's what do I need to take that gets rid of frostbite? This gets rid of frostbite, but I don't want to use it because I only have one of them. I'm sure I had something else that I had lots of. Let me see. I don't expect anybody to subscribe to me on Twitch ever, uh, but if you do wish to avoid um, ads, you can subscribe to me or you can subscribe to Twitch Turbo and then I still get your ad revenue. I really thought I had something else, but you don't get any ads. I really thought I had something else. Oh, hell yeah, Aromia, that's so good. Can we get some hype in chat? Aromia, that's fantastic news. Congratulations. Good night, Dine Dine. Rest well. Heal paste? Do I? Oh, I do have heal paste. <laughs> Oops, I just scrolled straight past it. Thank you. <sighs> it's going to come back again. It's going to come back again. How long has that ham and cheese sandwich been in your inventory? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Lots of empty chunks packaging. Yes, if you subscribe to Turbo, I subscribe to Turbo because I cannot afford to subscribe to all of the streams that I would like to subscribe to. And um, I don't like ads, so I get it. You still get ad revenue, like Finley said. Um, but yes, um, feedback about advertising and the ad experience is appreciated. If it's too disruptive to do it every 30 minutes, please do let me know and I will change it and try it. We can try it every hour instead, but it, they will be longer. You just keep a cabbage in your pocket for three months and scarf it down to play battle to heal 10 bullet wounds. Anything else? I have a meal. Tra oh, that looks kind of oh. <laughs> cheaper than the number of streams you want to subscribe to. Absolutely. Complete. Oh, hello. Are you okay? A pilsner? That does seem like it probably wouldn't help. Ads are about to run, friends, but don't worry. We're not going to go next until you're back with us. I promise. We're not going to go into the next room. What this? That looks gross, though. You can live with the odd ad on other channels. That's fair. If it makes you lots of monies and is good with me. I, do you know what? I should really reply to you whenever ads aren't running. <laughs> Frostbite game for flip sake. It's because I've been hanging out here so much. They're not pretty. Nice teeth though. Right, let's go. We'll prep. I cannot see the ad going down. That seems inconvenient. So I have no idea when they're done. Space dinos. Wait. I'm not ready. No ads yet. Uh oh. <laughs> it says they ran, so I guess we'll jump in. My favorite part of these quests is how they give you armor with zero thermal resistance. They really do! I am unable to provide sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Okay. Anyone got ideas where we could get some extra juice? 
Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Okay. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. All right. Roger that. Roger that. Be -be 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 -be. I power to the office entrance. Oh, I guess that must be the door up you there. Proceed. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Nice teeth. Yep, that's the door. I'm gonna do a quick save because I'm scared. Let's go. Oh no! Romeo, that's the worst. Why is there a pile of junk on the floor? A marine! I'll just take your money, don't worry about it. What's this? I don't know what that is, but... I see the thing I'm supposed to do is over there. Another UC marine. Some beer. Why were they drinking so much beer? Still looks <gasps> Sweet rolls! Made from honey flour and any number of special ingredients, sweet rolls are considered the tastiest treat in any universe. It's an Elder Scrolls reference! Let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> someone stole our sweet roll. Yeah, it was me! <laughs> I stole it! I'm the problem! <laughs> right, I need two. Can I? Do we? Oh. That's not gonna work. None of my two threes actually work. Can I get this to work in a different configuration? Like, nope. That really does appear to be the only configuration where that works. Do I? Oh, I need a four. That doesn't work. Well, okay. Hold on. There's two there and two there. These are definitely not going to work. And I don't have two twos. And I don't have a three and a one. Got a new GPU yesterday and got Starfield with it free. Just like myself up to playing it. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoy. Um, So I don't think this is actually going to work. Unless I'm being silly. It is possible. It does not seem that that is the case in this particular situation though. All right, um, so this obviously fits and so does this. So if we say these two are used, can I fit this in the middle? So if I take, for example, that and then I have, oh yeah, that works with this four, doesn't it? I think it works like so. So that means I need to figure out, oh yeah, that's fine. So this works and that. I know you can keep going, but I'm just double checking that I've actually done this correctly. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Getting the ammunition and the stuff. Oh, another lock. <laughs> what GPU did you get, Jamie? So this only works here, so that's fine. Um, do we have a three that would work? We do. Now, if we do the inside... This works on the inside, but where? There, and then a two and a one. Do I have two and a one close together? I don't. Oh wait, it's not, it's it's a three alongside each other. I don't think I have one of those, do I? I have three that are evenly spaced. So if I did that and that, I could use that elsewhere. Is there anything that can only be used on the outside? No, but this can only be used on the inside. So it feels like doing that and then having that would make more sense. Which means this and... Oh, that's wrong. This and this. So that means we're doing that and that. Nice. 7800 XP. Ooh. Nice. It's nice to know that I can survive anxiety things when I have a headache. I think I just read that message and then I don't know if I reacted to it or not. I hope you feel better, Sony. I'm glad that you survived, though. All right, we have to press that button. Power reactivated. Yeah, that makes sense. With this big button, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> you think you see it, do you? 
Listen to the playback. I believe ads are running right now. They they were delayed. So I'm going to wait to play that back. I'll be okay, but now I need to make decisions. I mean, I can talk to my partner about it and such before making a decision, but the place seemed nice. That's good. That's good. I think, I think being able to talk it through with somebody always helps. So I am expecting uh, another big fight because we've gone through this and got a lot of ammo. We've got a lot of meds we've got one final sample final sample i never believe anymore when this game tells me it's the last time i'm gonna have to do something because they got me good a few times i just don't i don't buy it i've done many saves i'll do another one now you hold that thought <laughs> hold that thought recording You got this, Tony. I believe in you. All right. Ow, my foot. There is a reason I'm having an x-ray tomorrow morning. The last just means the last for now. The final sample. All right. Let's listen. I have a lot of theories about where this is going, but we'll see how it goes. We need to make the evacuation request. That's, that's my father he's addressing. Hmm. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. the theory's getting. It just transformed. An invisible weapon. No Did he try to. We should talk. We should, we should talk. definitely talk. Good luck, Dark Smack. Collect the recording. You got it. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? Never learned this reading minds trick he seemed to have mastered. That's certainly how I interpreted it. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. So there's a couple of things about that. This whole city to death. He's a. He's. There's a couple of ways to interpret this. We already knew that he blew up this place. So he was already a cold-blooded murderer. We already knew that. No, nothing about that has changed. His reasons for doing it might have changed. I don't agree with his reasons. However, I do feel like perhaps he was trying to... Assuming he didn't try to use it, he was trying to stop people from knowing about it. But it's really, 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 really tough. Because I don't think just killing a bunch of people is the way to stop this from getting out. That feels wrong. But I also think his reason for doing it is that, well, I don't know, maybe there's more to the story, but I think the re his reason for doing it is because if it got out, it could be used as a weapon 
The question is, does he want to have access to the weapon by himself, or did he do it to actually prevent it from being used? Evictus. He saw it too. I'm not sure what transformation you're talking about, Matori. <sighs> I'm going to say a commander in a tough situation, though I feel like none of these options really summarizes how I feel. That is a disgusting way to describe what happened here. Someone Thanks, Andresia! knows what it means to command, to be in charge of, and responsible for others would never do such a thing. He decided to I agree. his own soldiers to death. What I agree, kind of but I don't agree with calling but him a cold-blooded murderer, and I also don't agree with saying attacks. that he thought that keeping a secret. Could Ray Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? It's an idea worth discussing further when we're not surrounded by terramorphs. Good point. Deal with one monster at a time. Let's go get that final sample. Yep. Andresia! We are going to have to have a conversation about this. <laughs> they have enough secret stations where they could have stationed anyone who knew crap career from that, but hey, at least they're alive. Absolutely. Agree. 100%. I don't agree with what he did. I just mean, I, I think I understand the thought process, even if I disagree with it. Guys, your sample, it moved. I'd be real careful out there if I were you. What do you mean it moved? Doesn't sound good. Eyes peeled. Yes? Let's try gear. I am happy to help shoulder the load. I have too much. First, I have frostbite. Please <laughs> help me with my frostbite. Uh, can you keep me warm, Andresia? <laughs> it like don't get me wrong. Um, so in Tori, I don't. I honestly don't think that she is transforming into the Terramorph at all. Um, as much as I've talked about it, I mean, maybe she is. I I've talked about werewolves. I don't think that's the case. We find out. I don't know if you were here, but we find out where the Terramorphs are coming from. Um. But it could be used as a weapon. And I think that's the problem. Um, let me store this. Like the slug thing turns people into terramorphs, right? Not that we're aware of, no. <laughs> they just turn into them. <laughs> They're like the baby version of them. Dang it, it's never werewolves. Not when we want it to be, certainly. All right. That is all. Very well. Yeah, I kind of assumed we had a live sample anyway, to be fair. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, I really need to take some medication. I, I, I do be struggling. I have frostbite, severe, hypothermia, stable, uh, freezing cold and snow. Yeah, I know. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I need to level up at some point. Um, let us take the <laughs> meal pack eggs. Why do I have meal pack eggs? Um, heal paste. Frostbite cured. No, hold the phone. What else do I have going on? I have hypothermia. Ship weapons cost more to fire. Okay, that's fine. Stable TM. What's unstable hypothermia? I don't think we want to know. <laughs> Digipig. Oh, wait, I want that. Just picking up everything I can get my greedy little paws upon. What's this do? Nothing. Nothing yet. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. I'm doing a quick save. This seems like a bad Are idea. Oh, no. Save the, Save succulents, the succulents from freezing. freezing. You're right. Oh, why does this feel like it's gonna be a big boy? Pry Pry, thank you for the reset, puppy. 21 months. Who's beeping? I think this is broken. They all have buttons. I press the buttons. Can you water the succulents? I don't believe so. This is terrible. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Possible threat! Is that the sample? Yeah, that sure does look like the sample! Shoot, shoot. That is the sample? 
Andresa! Get out of the way, Andresa! Oh my god, Kaiser, could you get out of my fucking face? What is wrong with Kaiser? <laughs> Kaiser, why? Uh, uh-oh. Thralls? That's not good. Okay, can you tell me what to do? It's never going to work. Okay. Oh, I just shot Kaiser. Secure the final option. Power up the... Oh, yeah. None of your business. The absolute chaos. I think it probably will die. They're attacking the anomaly. Turn on you. Kill them. Kill them first. That's, That's kind of cool. I'm just building out the frequency. What is happening? They're helping me. They're not coming after us. Oh, is it dead? Did it die? Did they kill it? Okay. The music. Okay. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Okay. Kaiser, why were you up in my face the entire What is this nonsense? <laughs> I'm sorry for killing you. I'm sorry. Thank you, though. Thank you for your help. Here, Kaiser. You can take it. Final sample secure. I thought he was going to say, finally. <laughs> Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Just confused, confused by the concept of faces. All right, return to forward base. Okay, we could do that. Whew. Can we keep the alive ones for pets? Technically, I think we could. But, oh, hello. Random dead person in a med pack. Speaking of which, probably pop that. Okay. I think that's just one of them, so it's fine. It's okay. So the boss has actual mechanics, although, um, depending on your combat capability, you could probably ignore most of the mechanics. Are they just going home? I think they might be just going home. <laughs> uh, they're like, I'm just going to go home. I came here to fight for him and then he died or whatever. I think I'm just going to go home. Everybody okay with that? You good? Yeah, okay, they're, they're fine. You just racked the boss. I kind of did. I didn't get to the other thing before it died. I used the mini gun that they gave me. Oh my god, hypothermia. I could I could do without hypothermia. I could really do without hypothermia. Do, 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 do. Hi. They're kind of cool. I like them. Not a big fan of this, like, I'm out in the wilderness and it's freezing cold and, you know? Spray and Bray seems to be how a lot of people did that fight. All right. I'm fine. It's just my ankles. A particle beam shotgun. Amazing. Discuss your findings. Can we maybe do this inside? Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Hi, Amalea. How are you? Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end. <laughs> yeah, I did. But like <laughs> Can this he hear me? Success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. A lot of blind panic and holding... A firm holding of my right trigger on the controller. Um, Nearly cost me a couple of fingers and toes, but yeah, we got him. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Mingta? about that myself though i know i wasn't nearly as much at risk of limb loss as you all were i mean it's still cold now my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there but do i have it right that vague victors knew about this damn plant that's what it sounded like he definitely did <laughs> guess the old admiral must have told someone what he learned even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond he's not it's dead a bit more complicated than that <laughs> you're right he couldn't possibly be involved. 
Oh no, Stony. Ah, oh, Emily, it's nice to have you. We learned something, but I can't say anything more. I promise. Captain, he needs to know. All right, look, Nate I Rictus broke the oath to tell alive, you. Oh, okay. Which means he could have been involved in the attacks. Alive? He's Faye Victus? That can't be true, right? Unfortunately for us all, yes, it's true. So Technically, that means I didn't tell. We have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. <laughs> Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Sure, I got it. Adrian can't keep a fucking secret. Don't tell her your crush. Oh, he and I are going to have some words. Do you want to come speak with them? No, I don't think she should. Good. We'll all meet back at mast outside the cabinet chambers. They're going to want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best he was luck, not a Captain. good man. And so thank you for dealing with him. He was not a good man. Thank you. All right, speak to Vey Victus. I also have uh, two level ups now. So what's our situation here? We've, mm, ooh, ooh. We've got seven out of 30 for this. Okay, that's cool. Um, I could start taking some of these. Rifle certification. I haven't got my rifle certification yet. <laughs> Demolitions, heavy weapons, incapacitation. Um, sniper. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take the rifle certification. And I might level up my weightlifting. That's nice. Give me a little bit of extra carry capacity. You're about to go find Percival. Nice. All right, I'm out of here. Can I fast travel to my ship? You cannot, you cannot fast travel while taking health damage. Look, it's not my fault. It's cold. <laughs> really cold I hate it here this planet is much too cold for me All right, can I just ouch my knees oh there is a perk for it there's a perk let me see uh, there's pain tolerance but there's also uh, environmental conditioning you gain 10 resistance to airborne environmental damage and then thermal and corrosive and then reduced chance to gain afflictions from environmental damage sources. But I'm only a baby. I'm only level 20. I like the trees. <laughs> Why the hell is a Londinian built on all? It really is, though. It reminds me of old. Good day, Captain. Good day. Difficulty breathing. Amazing. All right, we're back on board. Dad, what can I, I help you with? Nothing. Transfer. I would like to transfer all of my res. That's not my resources. That's the resources that are already here. And I will get the ones off uh, thingy later. All right, we did it. And now. What was it like? Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. What are they talking about? Trust me, it's the worst. You're getting Donatello the Ninja Turtle vibes from the video. You mean this one? <laughs> Praise be to Vold, our forever home. It's true. It used to be wet and then it was just cold. Right, I need to pee. Um, I'm going to take a super short break to go to the bathroom and we're going to go to uh, a legacy forge. We need to go talk to Victus. So I will talk to you all in a second. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. All right. Uh, we're going to do a legacy forged. What we learned at Londinian suggests the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis might have been intentional. On our only lead, though, is Victus. I have a lot of feelings about Victus, to be honest. Oh, I should have set. Set, of course. You have contraband. Shit, I do. Why do I have a pointy? 
Is it because I shot Kaiser? Why do I have a bounty? <laughs> why do I why do I have a bounty? It's not my fault I shot him! He kept walking into my face! It's because you bought one over a Mars bar. My hypothermia is pretty bad. Why do I have a bounty? Excuse me? Who's it with? Crime. I have a, a 350 credit bounty. It's because I stole the sweet roll. It's me, I'm the problem. You ran into your gun 10 times. He, but he did though. <laughs> he literally stood in front of me while I was trying to shoot an alien. Okay, hang on. Let me, what am I gonna do? He literally ran into my face. Space crimes. Hi, Muffin. He ran into my face. What do you want from me? I need to put my, uh, my, con where's my contraband? Oh wait, it's in here. Invisible Dave. He wasn't that invisible though, to be fair. <laughs> be gay, do space crimes. <sighs> what an asshole. Wait, do I really have a bounty because of that? Where do I go to pay off a bounty? I don't actually know. Ugh, I do have contraband. Will my shielded cargo hold be okay? There's a rash of missing coffee cups that caffeine deprived are not a group to trifle with. Ah. I don't know who issued the bounty. I don't remember getting one. <sighs> Is there somewhere I could go to pay it off? It's not that I'm worried about following the rules. Fuck the rules. It's about getting caught and having to pay a bounty. <laughs> quick save before you jump. Okay. Can I quick save in this menu? Sure doesn't seem like it. Quick saving. Well, I'll fuck around and find out. I told it to set course and it has said no. So <laughs> what are you doing? Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Be advised, you have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately or we will be forced to open fire. You're on the wanted list. Halt and prepare to be boarded or we'll be forced <laughs> to open fire. Uh, I'll pay the fine. What's stolen? All of my stolen? What about my coffee mugs? He'll never take me alive, copper. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll pay the fine. What about Solomon's maps? Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. What even happened? What did I do? <laughs> Man's like, <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. That's what you get for stealing coffee mugs. Technically, I don't think the coffee mugs belonged to anyone. <gasps> New Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security. Ah, the sandwiches don't belong to anyone either. It's fine. Okay, I think we're okay. Nor do the succulents. Succulents belong to no man! They were just resting. <laughs> They were looking for a new home. What do you mean? They were looking for a new home. Boom. You cleared the maps of the cellar in Neon. I've never been in Neon, Rini. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is that because you murdered their owners? I didn't. They were already dead. I realized that no one will believe me, but they were. Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> the lift's over here. Andresia, why are you running at me so aggressive? Look at how cute I am, though. Oh yeah. Muscle mommy. You violated the law. 
I do be having hypothermia. Difficulty breathing. Yeah, me too. Let's go aggressively talk to the Victus. All those cups falling off the thing. Damn hats. Wait, 11-ish more days? Until what? It's not like anyone was eating sandwiches or drinking any coffee. They were dead. They wanted to go with me. Oh, till Phantom Liberty. I'm not, honestly, I'm not really excited because I haven't finished the game yet. And I'm never going to get around to it. I will. Well. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. Fuck you. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed I'm excited for the updates though. All places, you need to you mind your own business. Big. Did you find what you were looking for? What an asshole. Don't play dumb. Oh, what? Okay. Anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? <laughs> I haven't been to Londinian in many years. <coughs> Why? Is there some way I could be of assistance? This guy's an asshole. Able to recover what you were looking oh, are we going to say that he actually was? Okay. Don't play dumb. We know you were behind the attacks in New Atlantis and Tauceti. Now, what in the heavens would make you claim something as Do we, though? as that? We recovered a recording, an invisible weapon. You were talking about Terramorphs because you're the only other person who knew that the Lazarus plant could be weaponized. Should have aimed better when you bombed Lindinian. We find evidence they're tying you to the attacks. <laughs> you leave Saren out of this, Opic. I would smash Saren so hard. You're the only other person who knew. That's quite the claim, Captain. I hate to think what would happen if such a patently untrue statement reached the ears of the cabinet. Oh, he Perhaps is absolutely not. No, he moment. did do it. What? Confess or I turn over what I find. Sorry, I'm telling the cabinet what we learned. Consider this your chance to come clean. I've got no plans to tell anyone. I just want to know the truth. Or so you're really claiming you don't know anything about the attacks. Is that what you're claiming? Of course. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what He you're sounds too calm. So I'd very much appreciate your agreement nope. to not share You wouldn't ask found. that. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to You wouldn't ask now. me to do that if you didn't have Good something way. to do with it. I'm telling them what I learned. Consider this your chance to come clean. <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I do. I did it. Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. Was I smart enough to record him saying that? Years of coordination between my associate and I. <laughs> figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. What a Use prick! A weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Look at that smirk! I'm getting and I would have gotten away with it too if not for you meddling kids because you're a madman and a murderer and you live to so death. <laughs> to work on something that long seems personal. No better way to show the UC what a deadly weapon they have in the Lazarus plant than to use it. Associate, who have you been working with? All in due time. First, I want to see if you're truly as astute as you appear. Are so you still would there? someone like Sight me space, side of high. go through all this trouble? Because you're a madman and a murderer and you live to so death. <laughs> okay, thank you for the resub. I've been 32 months. Welcome back. How are you? <sighs> what the fuck? I am no longer I am no longer getting pop-ups for the incoming ad break, but it told me that there is an ad coming up, and that seems incorrect. Some of the dialogue options in this game are so unhinged. Mm, this seems personal. You couldn't be more right. The attacks were a correction. What does that mean? When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found. No, I haven't snoozed them at all, Matori. We were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian he did grin. Port, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak, and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. What I mean is, it's not popping up on my OBS thing where it popped up at the beginning. 
it's popped up on my dashboard over there instead, which is kind of inconvenient. But it's fine. I'll let them run because we'll finish this conversation and we'll let them run. And then hopefully it won't run again. <laughs> no secret is so dangerous that you can justify condemning so many lives. You just said it took you years to use the plant outside at Londinian. You killed them for nothing. That information should have been handed over secured to keep it from ever being used. You didn't even trust your own people. Um... You killed them for nothing. I mean, it, anyway, they killed them for nothing. Ku, enjoy your lurk. That information should have been handed over. It's easy to judge now, but the Freestar Collective had spies It's everywhere. me. I'm a spy. In that moment, I wasn't about to add a dangerous variable to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I've given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. This is bullshit. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? Don't you! <gasps> my daughter's legacy. Bringing Hadrian into this? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. Bullshit. My daughter. She becomes a hero. <gasps> I become a trusted Bullshit. advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence. What an asshole! Them, the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. He's what like an anime villain telling me everything he did wrong. Dead before he could hurt anyone else. Is Decades on the run, brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. So you murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honor. You're sick. Ah, uh, so I'm just your cleanup crew. You must think you're very clever. Orlais, why does that name sound familiar? Oh my god, please tell me my character's not that dumb. <laughs> please tell me my character's not that dumb. How could you have coordinated all of this in here? It wasn't easy. But the beauty of being loathed. Can he at least pay you for it? Whatever they can. Not to deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their. He's like an anime villain. Still, establishing a back channel to I think he does think he's one. Recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve wracking. She chooses it. They believe they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you are actually dealing with. That's some Four. nonsense. But as you can see, ultimately effective. That's some bullshit. Your character's only that dumb if you pick that option. True. Uh, you murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honor. You're sick. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all... Fuck off. ...benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all I didn't want ago. that. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. He's so thoughtful. I hear him. And I know that's what he wants. And I think that's the worst part. Is that he's like, oh, the best part about being low. Go for GG! Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back. Happy 39 months. What if I like just being a murder hobo? What are my options here? They'd be honoring me for cleaning up your messes. If you're waiting for me to say thank you, you're going to be here for a while. I would like to shoot him, but I suppose there's been some kind of some benefit. No, there hasn't. What kind of honors are we talking about? <laughs> what kind of 
honors are we talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't want to shoot him. I don't want to shoot him. He's an asshole. Look at that smirk! Look at that smirk. This this guy right here. Also, why do they all have the same? Do, has anyone noticed that so many of the UC Vanguard people and all associates... Stop smirking at me! Have <laughs> that one same scar? Plot armor is too thick for any weapon. Exit and just walk away. I am going to play this one because I don't like... I don't, um, you're waiting for me to say thank you. We're going to be here a while. I was going to ask if the glass was bulletproof. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual What's our actual endgame? End Eliminating the terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. But off! His methods are so wrong! One more life be protected. No! Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. Oh, it's gonna make me cheese. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was no. Orlaise and Orlaise alone. I refuse. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our nah. works together. I refuse. I hope you've enjoyed this talk, because once I tell the cabinet, it'll probably be your last. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet. Fine, I'll make sure everything's pinned on Orlais. You think I'm just going to forget the fact that you kill people to accomplish your quote-unquote good works? And what kind of work are we talking about here? And how many have you killed? <laughs> you are I now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war... Am I okay? A tram tunnel. What's happening to me? So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange I okay? To me. I only hope you'll see the same and leave my name out of the discussions to come. Personally escort him to the River Sticks. No, I don't know what I'm going to tell the cabinet. I do, but I'm not going to sit here and play his game. Am I okay? Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. Oh, why is my health dropping so much? <laughs> So bad. Why is it getting worse? What's wrong with me? Ship weapon. O2 recovery rate. Health slowly drains to 10%. Oh, I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> I thought maybe I was just going to turn into a werewolf or something. Hi, Rose. I love you. Apparently. How do I get rid of... I have that. How do I get rid of this? Which ones give me... This one? I scroll past one. Fuck it. I'll take that. Ow! That hurt! <laughs> Do I- I have a ham and cheese sandwich. I had three ham and cheese sandwiches. It was just the bloodlust. Dude, it's so cold you freeze to death and suffocate just talking to him. I have filled the chamber with a deadly neurotoxin. That was oddly distracting. Okay, so, um, yeah. I- alright. What's it, what's it tell me? Speak to Hadrian and Percival. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, we're obviously not letting him get away with it. No, I swear I was wearing armor. Come on. Is something on this? Let's get moving. I will watch your back. She's mad at me because I said that it was just a commander making a bad decision. I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. I didn't want to say he was a cold-blooded murderer, but he definitely was. Beta, we have to talk about what your feelings were about that after. Is she in here? Hey. We gotta talk. Perfect timing. We just got in. We gotta talk. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as that they is are good against news. Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can it do was those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. 
So what about Werewolf. your end? Did you find anything? I did. I did. Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Lie. It was a man named Dr. Reginald Orlais. No, they victors can vastly organize the attacks from a cell. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew In fairness, she did. She did immediately. Why? Did he say why he did it? I hoped that it wasn't that. Like, I was like, no, nah, maybe he's not that evil. Maybe, like, genuinely he thought he was doing the right thing and it was just the bad choice. So he's trying to fix the damage done to the son on name, make you and him into heroes. It's not worth recounting. It's not. That's not fair. I can't put that on her. Good approach. I'm sure the UC interrogators will be able to get to the bottom. I don't want to put that on her. It's not Agreed. fair. Let someone else deal with him. Worrying about his motives will get us nowhere. His actions are all that matter. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. He asks we leave out his involvement in the attack, says to consider the lives he's helped save. No. What do you think they'll do to him? My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. <laughs> that would make sense. Make sure his future schemes and machinations close stay the lift in as she came around the corner, him. you shit. And I'd honestly, be mad too. <laughs> I'm not sure. He's in a unique position and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. He really has, though. He deserves punishment. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone. He deserves being yeeted out an airlock. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Hi, Andy. Nothing left How to are do you? but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Yeah, maybe Unless not just move him into a plastic discuss, box. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Thank you, Kerr. I hope you have a good day. Nothing else on my end. Let's head in there. What method of dealing with Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? I know which one I want. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. I don't like the idea of the microbe. You're getting paranoid. You know the science. I don't. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. I know what I want. I don't think the microbe is safe enough. Um, so both approaches to clearing our worlds are effective against heat leeches. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch you from orbit. when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Angry Spaghetti. Another excellent YouTube title. <laughs> what kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back the Asilis? Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so... The risk of introducing them to new worlds is... It is minimal. a terrible odd. Using them odds. to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. If someone decides to pick a fight with a megafauna, they deserve what they get. They do. <laughs> what do you think the cabinet will do when they learn about Vevictus' involvement? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he he's killed done, a lot of people. Unforgivable. A lot of people. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. All right, let's head in. And here we go. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like... The microbe has more chance to be harmful to other life. But then, I don't know, maybe we're just creating more problems. I think both ways we're creating more potential problems. You good? <laughs> don't bully Andresia. The actual answer would be using the microbe in high risk environments and the beasties everywhere else. That would make sense. Use the microbe specific. But then, what if the microbe manages to make it off planet, you know? Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. Me too. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence. 
but a planned strike. You're right. Is what I'm reading here true? No, not entirely. The second report who I think it's from. This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are Adrian, so don't say anything. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? Don't say anything. Uh, that's correct. It was a deliberate attack. My attack. God. An attack? Using terror morphs? Attacked. How is that possible? <laughs> you will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? No. Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? No. Orlais? Not alone. This report isn't the whole truth. Orlais helped, but Ve Victus organized these attacks. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use terramorphs as him. weapons. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest this order. This is fine. <laughs> this information does not this leave is fine. this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? I have the recording. It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. Right, Krister? I wonder if we no can. I would be safe. Heavens help us. Is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. Yep. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain. Can we trust you with that? Well, no! Of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. No. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies. I don't can trust the UC enough. at all. <laughs> we failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vavik to sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. You better. <sighs> Ma'am, I would request that his life be spared. He did help us. No, fuck that. What's going to happen to him? Can you ensure he has no more outside contacts? That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. Mm, Aramar. Can you ensure he has no more outside contacts? He used UC functionaries to get his message out. That's... That's truly disconcerting. <laughs> Money would be nice. <laughs> but cutting off Vae Victus' contact with the outside world is likely to be just the beginning of his punishment. The world will be better without him in it. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Yeah, but you... Now, <laughs> with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can she does never read the happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian, all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam I don't President. trust one person with it, though. I believe the other factions should be involved. I do. I actually do. I don't know. I don't. Oh, mm, I feel like it actually should be dead. It should be gone. But what sort of measures will they take to protect, protect it? Well, luckily, the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy but will ensure its growth is contained. That access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances and that our troop presence- They shouldn't have access to it at all. Is increased. Securing the plant isn't enough, it should be wiped out. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. 
Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. Is she, is she, is she just not paying attention? Is she not paying attention? <laughs> it is a plant that has been used as a weapon and could be used as a weapon again. I'm shocked you don't want to destroy it. Is the UC planning to keep this for themselves? I'm not sure I like what you're suggesting. The UC's only plan is to protect lives. Though, I won't discount that perhaps your proposal could get us closer to that goal. So, explain to me your thinking in destroying the plant. I'm a Free Star Collective as well. This hard, to com hard for anyone to commit new attacks with the plant if we erase any trace of it. Destroying it and asking for the Free Star Collective to help proves the UC has no ill intentions. They are ultimately threatened as much as the United States. Literally, colonies. you can't to just leave people out. Know and what can be done to make us all safer can only foster good relations. Yeah, there's that, no long-term damage wiping it out. That is an idea with some merit to it. Decrease the likelihood of anything like this occurring again and further relations between our two factions. Two birds with a single stone. Very well. We'll include the collective in the removal process. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. You're welcome. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. Oh, better. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asylum is a safer approach. I agree. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps. Shut up. Are you the serious? The technology <laughs> behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. We were hoping it just sounds like such a bad idea to me. Major, use nature. We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Use nature. Deploying the Aceles is the fastest route, or safest route. That's my vote. Terramorphs have caused enough damage. They need to be wiped out quickly with the microbe. Do we need to do anything? Shouldn't destroying the Lazarus plant be sufficient? I'm going to say deploying the Aceles, I think. I'm in full agreement. No need to be delving into unpredictable sciences. The first step in a bold new future. Bolder, better, okay, and brighter. Better. <laughs> well, I need to write that yes, down for later. Yes, Mac. Order, please. And Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. They don't necessarily agree. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. What does that even mean? Class Hi, 1? Hi, Blue, by the way. For the three of us? Are you joking? The TMD's nuts. What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. What's a Class 1 citizen? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class 1s enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction Amy. on the cost of colonial goods. Some are more equal than others. A penthouse is... A penthouse? <laughs> rather impressive. Uh, thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much <laughs> Now the game done. ends while the cabinet drawings Major you in paperwork. Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts. Roll credits. Spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. 
As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. Cool. He should be able to provide you with assignments going There's forward. more? Plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United States. Alright, peasants, don't even look at you me. You have our sincerest <laughs> gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Okay. You mean to tell me there weren't any werewolves? This whole time? There were no werewolves? What do you mean? What do you mean? <gasps> Hell yes, Tony! Let's go! Did ask the student advisor I talked to a few more questions about how they expect their students to do in classes and such, but so far seems to be good to go. That's awesome. There's no werewolves here. What is this nonsense? <laughs> Literally unplayable, Ozzy. Extra secret wolves. <laughs> werewolves. Oh, I didn't mean to come out here. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> they hid the werewolves in another quest? Maybe. There were so many hints. What do you mean? By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of werewolves. Do they just want you to believe there are no werewolves? Look, okay. The red eyes, the transformation storyline the barking up the wrong tree strays no it sounded they were base game going to the wolf system to the den station that's some where are you leading me some nonsense. Why am I in all that money can buy? No, fuck that. Aren't I supposed to talk to you? Yeah. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Thanks. Uh, I'm just here to collect whatever this, it is this class one thing pays. Can you tell me what a class one citizen High is? Honor. Have to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Vanguard. Only ever met a couple myself, and certainly never given one orders. No werewolves yet. You should be real proud. Is that your second favorite quest line? Which the um the other Vanguard like tree that you can do? Wasn't this the guy that started it all with just a beginner mission? Yes. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All you your goods favorite? and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the that's what we're probably gonna do next. Your accounts now. Thanks. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. Let's do it. We should be able to grant you access. Um, I'd rather drink engine oil than live in New Atlantis, but at least the price is right. Thanks. I'm not saying that's incredibly generous. Fuck that, I worked hard. <laughs> where is Ophelian? Wait, hang on. Where is Ophelian Realty? I've walked past it, but I don't remember where it is. Your credits and merchant discount should all be processed. But you'll have to check in with the Ophelian Real Estate Office to get Dude, access to the Is it the, the one that I've heard people... I read someone say that they stole a football and it got them into deep cover. Just out the front door and across the plaza by the embassies. Look for the affiliate sign. Thanks. Okay. Is it over there? I remember seeing it. I just haven't been. I've had no reason to go inside. I don't have a house. Bestie, I got a penthouse. Hey, Tiggs, how's it going? Can't see shit. <sighs> You can start the quest that way. I think someone stole some kit. Oh, that's the Armistice Archives. Shit. Uh, is it here? Felian. Here we go. I'm going to go check out my new crib. Never a better time than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. If you're a citizen, of course. Hello. Well, well. If it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen. 
You've made quite 500 a name for yourself succulents. in New Atlantis. So many succulents. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. A what whole do you say? succulent. It'll just take a second to get Your you registered as girl the owner. Is back. Hello, Oath! We could be sad girls together! Thank you for the resub, Poppy. Five months, welcome back. I did! I'm so generous, Finley. Yeah, let's go. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of God, my I hope favorite so, apartments friend. in the city. There, I'm sure there are more than 500 succulents. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. Thanks. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> Plenty of heat leeches for your pleasure. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Of all the things I want on this planet and in this game is not being neighbors with my parents. Do they live there too? I have to go. I gotta go visit my house. Excellent. And I don't have to pay for it. Stunning. Let's go! Also, Oath, I'm sorry, you're a sad girl. They live in the tower next door. Amazing. Yeah, maybe not. They were given an apartment and they just fucking dropped by the Constellation HQ. You mean the super top secret place that they're not supposed to know about? <laughs> the secret society. And they're like, ooh, is this your job? Seems like <laughs> That's like my mom energy. My mom, I told my mom I was going to Korea for a work thing. And we weren't allowed to tell anybody where we were because, okay. So long story short, when I worked at Riot, we would have these like work trips that we would go to. And when we all went there, we wouldn't be allowed to tell anyone while we were there because they didn't want people to know that most of the team were gone because that would be when we would get DDoS attacks or that would be when something bad would happen. So they didn't want people to know, right? And you could tell them afterwards. So I told my mum I was going to Korea because it's my mum, obviously. And I was like, but you can't tell anyone I'm in Korea because if everyone tells their family that they're in Korea and then everybody, I had to tell my mum I was going somewhere. Um, and then if everyone's family tells everybody else, then automatically everyone knows that <laughs> oh, it's really suspicious that all these people from Riot are in Korea at the same time, at the same time that the world finals are. And my mother, I posted a picture of myself to try and keep active on social media so people didn't think I just disappeared because I was very active on social media at the time. I posted a picture of myself, like, just smiling. And I was in a hotel, but you couldn't tell it was a hotel because I had, like, a really neutral background. And I just smiled and I said, hi, everybody, blah, blah, blah. And this was on Instagram. My mom immediately replied to the post with Annyeong Haseo, which is hello in Korean. <laughs> so while technically she didn't tell anybody... <laughs> And I was like, mother, delete your fucking comment. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> and I was like, mother, delete your comment right now. <laughs> what the heck? Neutral background's already a clue because it's not full of purple or space or cats. True, but you couldn't tell where I was. Um, so yeah, that was great. It's not possible that your mom is ADHD either. My mother. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, mom, please. Literally, please. I, ugh. Anyway, my mother would totally show up to my secret society job and be like, here, I brought cookies. <sighs> no, true, but the, their point was that nobody was allowed to tell anyone that they were in, in Korea. Because Obviously, you tell your family, but... Because if if multiple people said, oh, the, these people who worked for Riot were in Korea, then it would start being more obvious that more people were there. I've seen the bake on you. It's true. <laughs> she would, PK. She's like, oh, what, what company does T work for again? And I was like, I'm not telling you because you will tell all your friends. And he works Another for a cybersecurity thing. company. And I can't trust that your friends are going to be private about stuff. And while it's not a secret where he works, at the same time, she's the type of person who will post it on social media, and then everybody here will know that he works for that company. Hang the fuck on. I've never been here before. I really thought that was mini golf. 
surprise she apparently surprise. signed on to be some Shakespeare. King Lear. How many damn versions of Shakespeare do we need? I mean, after King Kate's King Lear, why bother, right? Huh? You have hidden depths, my friend. Ah! I'm on this security breach. Mini golf mod when. He's busy with his secret society meeting. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Here we go. You ready? It's time for our pen ties. Do I have, oh, I have a balcony. Oh shit. Okay, asking for a me. What would happen if I jumped off the balcony? I'm just, I'm just curious. Whee! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Fractured limb gained. <laughs> yeah, maybe one or two. <laughs> Amazing. Can I actually break into a neighboring apartment? Let's find out. Andresia, I feel you should not be here. I guess I didn't need to spoil that one. Can I get onto another building? Why does that look like a ladder for giant people? Whoop! I'm fine. Wait, there's a balcony here. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Literally unplayable. Wait, are those people genuinely down there? Is this actually rendering everything below me? I don't know, I guess. You can get to the spaceport? It actually exists? What if I, can I get over there? Oh, oh, I, uh, oh no, oh dear, oh no, oh dear, oh no. I'm okay. Holy shit, they actually, it's actually really here. They've anticipated your loot goblin behavior. I was gonna break into somebody's apartment. <laughs> well, that's just neat. It's actually here, the people are actually here. It's not like a skybox. That's cool. Parkour. <laughs> I'm on some random ass roof. Do you think? Do you think? If, if I go this way, I'd just be like. <laughs> you may not have seen me come through the lift, but I sure got back down. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> but a lot of games don't do that. Wow, did I just leave? Andresia, get inside. I need to close my door. Anybody could come up here. Gosh. Oh, well, now I need to decorate my house. How do I decorate? <gasps> a succulent was here waiting for me and a coffee mug. They knew I was coming. The way they knew I was coming. So do they'll patch it in. Don't worry about it. They knew I was coming. A fridge. They left it open. What's this? An empty room. Beautiful. I have a... Andresia! It already has everything that you, you need. What's this? Decorate. here forever i could build imagine a penthouse and i've just put my sleeping bag <laughs> a coffee table a navigation console office partition okay let's not have shit furniture oh <gasps> i could put up paintings how do i rotate 
Oh. Variants. Oh. Any aliens? I eat so many shelves. I left at aliens and came back to house flipper. <laughs> Wait. Cannot place. It is ex what? What? Oh, because this is a, this. Yeah, that's fair. That checks out. What butcher's best? No. Clean up after yourself. Terra Brew Coffee. <gasps> Starring Pat Brandy and Celia Z. Who said romance was dead? <laughs> Wait, do I get? Hang on. Oh, these are actually kind of cool. This is so neat. I can put up the po the posters. Ah! We did. We became roommates. Oh my god, this is neat. And then a warning sign, caution sign, danger sign. I need so many danger signs. Wall monitors, dartboards, rugs, floor mats, street dryer. There's so much. There's a coffee machine. Yes. Wait, I need the coffee machine. It will be in my corner. Coffee machine. This is the best day of my life. Oh, wait. That's a coffee maker. There's a coffee machine machine. Eh. It's a bit wonky, but that's okay. Um, portable stovetop, a drinks machine, a water cooler sink, toilet. <laughs> Should we put a toilet in our living room? A tile rack, a planter! Wait, there are different kinds. This is me living my best life because hi, I kill plants. That's what I do. In real life, I kill plants. That's that's what I do. I kill plants. Andreja, why'd you open the door? What's this? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Recreate the goth toilet. What are, has she just walked into every, she's walked into every room. This is a big bathroom. A nice room. <gasps> so many shelves. We're never finishing another quest. Holy bathroom. Oh my God. Right, hang on. Modify mode? Build mode. What can I modify? Okay, well, here's the thing. Oh my goodness. I would like this one to be here. Andreja! <laughs> this is so cool. I had no idea that there was this much in, in like building. I did, I had no idea. I'm putting this one right here. kidding and then like i have a washing machine <laughs> okay that's cool and i have another bedroom for well let's be honest you're going to share my bedroom she's looking for her bed i will say i whoops i think that the bedroom the beds that i have the option to place are not very good What else do they have? Displays? Oh, I can have mannequins. Data slate display, display case, helmet display, weapon rack, weapon rack, a backpack stand. I can't make weapon cases because I don't have the, oh, McDuff. I'm going to have so many things. A mission board? Self-service bounty clearance? <laughs> what? Oh, cool. I need zero wire. That's right, I could have gone to the waifu. Clear your bounties at home. Well, this is cool, right? I need a crafting thing. I'm gonna use, oh, hang on, hang on. Where does this go? This goes to my secret private balcony. This is definitely my bedroom. And we're gonna have, do I have a walk-in closet? Could you move? Ma'am, would you keep the fucking doors closed? 
we have a shower. We have we have a toilet. Why can't I build a separate toilet? But zero wire is exactly how much you have. I need, can I stash stuff here? I could pl put stuff on this. I have a question. If I, if I build a display case, can I put all my succulents in it? And all my mugs? Like, could this be my room of mugs and succulents? This is amazing. This should be a room that contains all my food. Unbelievable. I did not expect this level of customization. Could you stop opening every door? If she goes into that toilet, I swear to God. Andresia! Why are you like this? <laughs> this bitch. Okay. What else can I make? I want storage. Um, well, first of all, I would like to look at my couch options. <laughs> Imagine this beautiful, this beautiful apartment and I made this. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's like crashed. That's kind of nice. I like number five. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go number five. And we'll do... She's opened every door again. Let's do like here. That feels wonky, but that's okay. Oh, you can track these. These are horrendous chairs. Oh, these are bad chairs. An office chair. Okay, so it's gonna have to not match. That's fine. That's actually probably better. Uh, oops. I keep forgetting how you rotate. Don't worry about it. We don't have a TV, but that's fine. You don't need a TV. Um, I want a coffee table. What kind of coffee tables you got? Oh, look, she's sitting down, cute. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. That's also kind of cool. I like uh, this one. She looks tired. She's like, I am sick of your shit. Rotating is actually kind of jank. It's much better than the Fallout one. Navigation, con what are these, right? So navigation console. Okay, they're all navigation consoles, got it. Console desk, office partitions cabinets wall cabinets shelves so many shelves yes <laughs> eh. okay i'm gonna place some bookshelves here oh whoops i keep left clicking to place but it's actually you have to press e it's a supply shelf bullshit it's a bookshelf whoa Friends, the way I am going to spend so long building this. Wall shelves, a refrigerator. Decorations. Storage boxes, you say? So many storage boxes. I need a I need to use a this cupboard. Can I? Ooh! I I have an idea. You just sit there on the couch, okay? Stop bothering me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that this just suddenly became um, wall shelves. What kinds of shelves do you have? No, I like the big one. Okay. Oh, shit. Oops, oops. I, my succulents are on my ship. Um, storage boxes. Can I put them up here? Selected item is... Oh, no, there we go. Yay! Look, I can place them on the shelf! I can have... Oh! I can have so many, like, ammo cases and... <gasps> Neat! 
meat. I'm gonna have so much storage. I need to... I need to see what I'm doing! Oh! Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Please, let me rotate! Let me rotate. Oh, I don't have enough resources anyway. Uh, <laughs> you can open your scanner and start decorating. You don't want to go... You don't have to go... Oh, really? Oh, yeah! Okay, cool. Storage box. I gotta store so much. I'm gonna store so much shit in here. We need a room for the the for stuff. This room should this be the room or should what? What do you think? I feel like this room should be our crafting room because this room has a nice like view and a nice cool accent wall and stuff. And I feel like it should be used for something else. I like it. I like it. I need an outpost though. I want to build my own outpost, but having this is kind of neat. So what if... Um, I think you use track option to see overhead. Track just tracks the things in the top left. Um, a display. Oh, I'm gonna track that because I need some adhesive. Um, and what? Wait, there's lots of mannequins. Oh, cool. That's actually really neat. Cool. Um, that's not what I wanted though. I wanted, oh, I don't have any aluminum. Was that a washing machine? <laughs> yes, <laughs> there was a washing machine. I don't know why. I think it might be McDuff. Right, well, I need to get lots more materials. Okay, I have successfully wasted a huge amount of my time. I'm so sorry. I love that she just came over here. She was like, ah, you do whatever you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. All right, well, we have our own penthouse. That's pretty nice. We gotta store all of our shit in here. That's so cool. I could use the quick, quick way down, but I refuse to believe the current washing machine design is perfected. They feel no need to change it over how many years. It's only like a hundred years though. <laughs> When building an outpost, not when decorating house. Gotcha. You know who has lots of mats? Pirates. You know who might have to start building a uh, thingy very soon? I said we'd go to Neon next, but I think we might need All to start. A satisfying moment. I feel like we might need to think about um, doing some outpost building. Can we talk? Yeah, we can talk. Is she still mad at me? That's the only way made Andresia mad at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. Yeah. What is it? It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. But are you sure this Asili's creature is the right way to do it? I'm not sure of anything. To own a home, all you have to do is stop a once-in-a-lifetime attack by a sociopathic evil mastermind and convince the topmost government leader. So you're doing, you're in the right. So I I said something she disliked, and I thought she I was being funny. I said something she disliked because I was trying to pick the neutral option. She didn't like that. Yes, I heard Darkwing, that's so cool. Also, hi. So instead he wins the race, as they say, germs made in the lab slime's way too risky. We're just helping nature take its course. This would be the same nature that gave that's us That's not technically true. Place. I do not think this is the path I would have chosen. One could easily argue that humans are the superior hunter and therefore are right to exterminate these creatures. The microbes would have put fewer people at risk in the long run. I don't know that that's true. I still think I made the right call. I see your point. Maybe you're right or we'll have to agree to disagree. I mean, I'm not sure what she'll appreciate. I don't think she'll appreciate any of these. She has very definite opinions. I don't think she likes neutral people. I don't know whether I, says, I, I should say we'll have to agree. To, like, I feel like this might make her like it but i think we do have to agree to disagree i suppose we shall not that it matters since the decision Sh was andresia disliked that i will say though that i am glad you convinced them to destroy the lazarus plant we wouldn't be able to sleep knowing it was still out there no one can be trusted with something that has the potential to cause so much chaos it's safer to remove the temptation completely no one can be trusted indeed but she doesn't like the that colonies hardly has the best record in that area 
Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us, and you have done a service. But to she doesn't all like who that. Live in the settled systems. I think I it's it bullshit that I can make her dislike things, but then when I do the the correct thing, she's like, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Chaos, that's me. Hi, hi, Wibble. How are you doing? Right. Okay. So our next thing that we have, we have deep cover. Um, I also have a bunch of these that I need to do. Um, here, these things. And I want to go to neon. So the next one is, uh, Walter has asked me to come with him to neon where he intends to purchase an artifact. I'll need to tell him when I'm ready to head out. Quick, give her a gift. Um, I have a load of these. How much would it suck for me being an empath and taking a two hour debuff every time they dislike something? I'm excited for you to experience it. I had no idea there were even weddings. By the way, you didn't spoil that for me like the internet did because the internet just keeps talking about weddings. Um, I had no idea there were weddings in this game. I didn't know you get married. But like, this is something I've been encountering a lot with a lot of games recently is entering into a um, thingy like the following page on Twitch and people putting the title of, of their stream a literal spoiler of something. I'm like, I know it's not a big deal, but like, I like experiencing things for myself and people are putting in their title dealing with this thing. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Can we make a stop at Genesis and then Evangelion? I don't know if that's a good idea. Neon City's your home. Are you a little Neon City street rat? Deputized also leads. Oh, yeah, hang on. Deputized. Marshal Daniel Blake directed me to speak to Ranger Emma Wilcox at the Rock in Aquila City if I'm interested in joining the Free Star. I should really do that, actually. Um, we should go back to Aquila. Let's do that. I also really need to build an outpost. I don't understand how there are people who are already light like, level, you know, whatever. Ridiculous. I spent significant oh no, Osric, that sucks. Smugglers. Brings back memories. T. <laughs> Do you just end into existential madness? Welcome to Aquila City. The mud is so realistic. There are known power leveling methods. I don't understand why people would like do that though. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I understand, like, for example, making use of certain tactics to improve your skills in certain areas. <laughs> but I don't understand trying to, like, specifically trying to power level. Um, sell from ship inventory. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I will say there is uh, a lot of uh, how much random shit do I have? Um, there is a lot of perks that I really want. Are you still there? God. To space we go for a purple haired adventure. Woo. Thank you very much for the resub. I'll be 33 months. I'm getting rid of all this random shit that's taking up space. The double double! I like to think I gave that to Smurf because he's collecting them. Why do I have so much food? in my ship inventory. What is wrong? Hello? <laughs> oh no, oh, uh, that's the worst. All right, I've got a notification that ads are happening, but stream is finishing soon and I'm not running ads right as I finish. A bitten sandwich, get out of here, it's my sandwich. A container of cereal, lager, beer, orange juice, red wine, vodka, water. Spice. Why am I carrying so much food? Did I just store the food? <laughs> Meatloaf. Midnight delight. No. Is that turtles? I remember. Milk. Mochi. Onions. Why am I carrying onions? Oranges. Pale ale. Where did these come from? Peaches. A. Plums. A. <laughs> ale in a sippy cup. Sorry, in a juice box. I need some ship parts. Where do you get ship parts from? 
superfood paste kit. Gross. I picked up everything. I feel like Andreja would not have liked you saying no ads, the stream is finishing. <laughs> it's a French Canadian pork and potato pie. Oh. Pop a wrap. What question did I ask? Because <laughs> I don't remember already. <laughs> you know, it's bad when someone says, is that an actual question? You're like, I don't remember asking a question. <laughs> oh, yes. Actual question. Where do I get ship parts? <laughs> Where do I get them? Other than from people. I really didn't remember asking that. I'm keeping my coffees and my toasts. All right. Okay. My ass is 313 under 420. Jemison and Mercantile are a few of the general goods vendors around the major cities. Okay, cool. Thank you. <sighs> At what point am I going to start getting rid of some shit? Because I have too much. Much too much. I see, Irmar. They're in the aid section on vendors. I don't think I ever go there. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, pals. All right, you know what? I'm going to finish up here because as much as I could sit here and sell for forever, you're also carrying way too many things. Um, we're going to start this, I think, the next time we come here, which means we're going to go to Neon soon. TM. Let me do a full save. Friends, I had a great time today. Thank you for hanging out. YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to come join us on Twitch where we will be streaming this for the foreseeable future. But also, uh, I'll see you next time on next episode of I'm No Longer Doing the UC Vanguard Quest. Well, technically.